Hey guys, I hope all of you are doing well. I apologize for the inconsistent uploads. YouTube has been breathing down my neck lately. Majority of my videos getting flagged for hate speech and I have been demonetized, so that sucks. This means I need to be more careful with what I say and not go too much into the details. Anyways, your incredible support did not stop and we did manage to reach 4,000 faces analyzed. And like usual, when we hit such a milestone, we share some statistics. This video, like many others, will be split into two main parts. The first part will be about the concept of ratings, a small recap, and the second part will be about the statistics of the 4000 ratings. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. My blog is also linked down below if you want to read more about topics like these. Without further ado, let's get this video started. Before we shortly get into the statistics, let's dive into the concept of measuring facial attractiveness, a small recap. Facial attractiveness is objective and not subjective like many believe. This can easily be proven through logic, factual evidence, and the many cases that exist of pretty privilege. And if beauty is objective, it can be numerically measured, through multiple ratios and measurements used. And then, to be realistic, you need to add facial harmony on top of the measurements to give a fair assessment. And plastic surgeons also use measurements and ratios before doing a plastic surgery on a patient. So that was the concept behind rating facial attractiveness. The rating scales differ and philosophy behind it also differ depending on who's behind it. In my system, there is different grades, the lowest 4, which is below average, 5, average, 6, above average, 7, Chad light, and 8, Chad. I also believe there is a 9, which is even rarer than 8, and only a few individuals got it. It's the closest to perfection a human can ever get. Of course, there is in-between values like 0 0.25, 0 0.5, or 0 0.75. These values can either mean good potential for improvement or being close to the next range, or both at the same time. So let's get to analyzing the new 1000 faces data. For the people who scored below average, it was around 18.6%, which is 186 out of 1000. As for people who scored in the 5 range, it was around 51.4% or 514 out of 1000. Next, for the people who scored in the 6 range or above average, it was 21% or 210 out of 1000. Next, for people who scored in the 7 range or chad light range, it was around 6.8% or 68 out of 1000. And finally, for the people who scored in the 8 range, they were 2.2% or 22 out of 1000. Now let's add this data to the all 3000 data and get a general 4000 rating data. For the below average scores, it's a total of 962 which is 24.05%. Next for the average scores, it's 1942 out of 4000 which is around 48.55%. Or close to 50%. Next for the above average which is 788, it's 19.7% or around 20%. For the people in the 7 range, it's 254 which is around 6.35%. And finally for the people in the 8 range, it's 54 or 1.35%. These numbers look much more balanced than last year's numbers in my opinion. The samples start to equal out and make sense as the pool grows. I'm sorry I cannot provide more details because YouTube again is breathing down my neck so these are the less offensive data I guess. This would not have been possible if not for your incredible support so I want to thank each and every single one of you guys. To those who were satisfied with the service I'm glad I was able to provide respectable quality products and to those who were not satisfied I apologize. That's it for today's video, hope you guys enjoyed it, a like and subscribe will be highly appreciated, and like usual, catch you guys in the next one.